atamari e kia koutou, no mai ki tēnei karakia te karakia mō te rā o te aranga. Kua ara a te kraiti. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Alleluia. Welcome to this uh, Facebook service uh, for Easter Sunday. Um, te rā matua uh, mō, mō te hahi. It is the most important day of the year um, for the church, the day when we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and when we look forward with hope to the resurrection life um, that he gives now and for eternity. I want to begin by acknowledging earlier this week the passing of the Reverend Howard Ashby, Te Hauanganga, I believe was his um, proper name. Um, he passed away earlier this week and as we grieve with his family, we also say that today of all days, we look forward to that day of great joy um, when the Reverend Howard and all those who know and love the Lord Jesus Christ will be raised to life eternal from the grave. Let's um, begin this morning by um, a song um, that's been sung by the Hokianga Fano for us this morning. And it's a song that takes us on a journey, brings us through from Good Friday into the hope of Easter Sunday. Jerusalem, praise the 
Well, I'm looking forward to when we can be lifting our voices together again at the end of uh, Tēnei Wā Pūreire, um, at the t end of this time of isolation, to when we can lift our voices together in one place to the one who is seated on the throne. Let's, um, let's commit ourselves um, in worship this morning, though, um, to fix our eyes not on our present circumstances, but on Jesus Christ, the one who is seated on the throne, the one who is reigning in the New Jerusalem, and the one who will return again. Um, we want to praise him this morning, Jesus Christ, the one who saved us and the one who lives for us now. Let's do so in these words. I te whānau a te koraiti, ko tātou nei tōna tīnana, e mahi nei i te ao, nau mai, haira mai, ki tōna ahurewa tapu. E mihi ana ki a koutou, ko a karangatia nei, hei tōte, hei māramatanga mō te ao, i roto i tō koutou tōhinga, Ki a koa, ki a hari, whakamoe me te tia te atua, te kai ho mai o te tūmana ko, te kai ho hau i te rongo. Āmine, ki a hari tahi tātou, ko ihu karaiti te māramatanga, te mātāpuna o te ora. Ki a ia te whakamoe me te te karoria, i tonoa mai nei e te matua, hei whakahau i te ao, hei huri i te wai, hei waina, Hei whakatahuri i te ngākau, ki a tū tapu ai ki tōna aro aro. Tā pai atu o tātou ngākau ki a te karaiti, nā nā nei whakatinana te kupu, hei toko i te ora, kororia ki a koe, e te karaiti whakatapu a mai mātou. I te whānau a te karaiti, i te mea kua hara tātou. Whakatata mai ki te hahau i te rongo. He aroha tō tātou atua. E te atua aroha, e mōhio nei ki ngā mea katoa, whakaarahi a mātou i roto i o mātou ngoi kore tanga, aroha mai i o mātou takanga ki te he, i o mātou whakaaro, i a mātou mahi, tōhungi a mātou. Mā te atua e muru o ai koutou hara, ki a mau te rongo. Ki a koa, ki a hari, ko te karaiti te aranga, te tāroi o te riri. Ko te karaiti te pauherenga waka, whakapaengi a te atua tō tātou kaihanga, whakapaengi a te atua tō tātou kaitau rima, whakapaengi a te atua tō tātou kaiunga ki te ao whānui. Te rārangi mō tēnei rā. Ko te rā tēnei e hangā e i hoa, ki a whakamanamana ki a koa tātou i rei rā. Waiata 118 verse 24. Our sentence. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Ka inoi tātou. E te ariki o te kororia, o te oranga, e whakapai ana mātou ki a koe. Mau i kaha, ki te whakaara ake i tautama, e wetekina ai o mātou hara, e whakakoria ai te mata, ki a whakahautia ai hoki te ao katoa. Mei ngā mātou e harikoa ana, e whakanui ana i te aranga mai o te karaiti e te mate. A... Ara ake mātou i te mate o te hara ki te ora o te pono. Ko ea e ora ana, e ki ngi tahi ana me koe me te wairua tapu. Ko tahi ano atua, e nai e nei, a mō ake tono atu. Āmine. And in English, again together, Glorious Lord of Life, we praise you that by the mighty resurrection of your Son, you have delivered us from sin and death and made your whole creation new. Grant that we who celebrate with joy Christ's rising from the dead may be raised from the death of sin to the life of righteousness. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever. Amen. 
Uh, we come now to our first reading from Naphtali. Today's reading is taken from Acts chapter 10, verse 34 to 43. Gentiles hear the good news. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, for in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. Their message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. How he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear. Not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses. And who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Te waia te o Rāwari, ko tahi rau te kau um, mawaru. We'll say this together, um, seeing as um, uh, the alternate verses thing won't work. Whakawhitai atu ki a ihoa e pai ana hoki ia. E pūmau tonu ana hoki tāna mahi tohu. Kia mea a iharaira. E pūmau tonu ana tāna mahi o tohu. Ko i hoa tōku kaha me tōku himene. Ko ia ano hoki tōku whakaoranga. He rio hari, he rio whakaoranga kei ngā tapenakara o te hunga tika. E mai ana ngā mahi e te ringeringa matau o i hoa. Ko a whakanuia te ringeringa matau o i hoa. E maia ana ngā mahi a te ringeringa matau o ihoa. E kore ahau e mate, tērā ahau e ora. Hei whakapuaki i ngā mahi a ihoa. E paki a rawatea ahau e ihoa. O tia ki hai ahau i tukua e ia ki a mate. Whakatuwheretea ki ahau ngā kūwaha o te tika. Ka tomo atu a hau ki roto, ka whakamoimete atu ki a ihoa. Ko te kūwaha tēnei o ihoa. Ka tomo te hunga tika, ka reira, rā reira. Ka whakamoimete atu a hau ki a koe. Mau i whakao mai ki a hau, mau koki i whakaore i a hau. Ko te kohatu i kapia i ngā kaihanga. Ko a mei ngā hei upoko mō te kokonga. Nā i hoa tēnei mahi, he mea miharo ki o tātou kānohi. Ko te rā tēnei i hanga e i hoa, kia hari ki a koa tātou i tēnei. Kia whakakororia tia te matua, te tama, me te wairua tapu. Ko te ritenga ia i te timatanga, a... Tēnei anō i anei, i nai anei, a ka mau tonu iho, a ake, ake ake, a mene. The epistle was taken from Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 to 4. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ who is your life is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
The Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 28 verses 1 to 10. Praise and glory to God. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come and see the place where he lay, then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ the Word. Itiwi e mihi atu ana kia koutou no atu nei. Ite nei rā o te aranga o tō tātou ariki o hekoraiti. I ara mai ia i te mate. I ara mai ia i puta mai ono i te ana. O ia tēnei ko te rā, ka anga atu ai tō tātou whakaaro. Ka puta te kōrero, hallelujah, hallelujah, ko ara mai te karaiti i te mate. Ara mai ki tā tātou karaki e tā rānei. Ko koutou tēnei, ko ū mai, ko tau mai, ko pai mai ki uta. Ko pai mai koutou ki te marae ātea o puka mata e kia nei. Ko ū mai, ko pai mai koutou ki te ākau o puka mata e kōrero tia nei. Ko ū mai, ko tau mai, ko pai mai ki te whare kōrero o puka mata e whakātu atu nei hara mai. Rungi tīngua tō tātu aere ki ohi ko raiti ko ara ake ia i te mate i tēnei rā pūamo. Hara mai. Nā, ki te mea ko ara ngā tahi i koutou me te ko raiti, rapua ngā me orunga. O te wahi e noho mai nei a te ko raiti i te ringa matau o te atua. Kia ngā tū tō koutou whakaaro ki ngā me orunga, kaua tātua ki ngā mea ki te whenua. Ko mate hoki koutou a, ko oti to koutou ora te huna ki a te karaiti i roto i te atua. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Welcome to our karakia today, the day of the resurrection. I welcome you in the name of Christ, crucified and risen. Ku ara a te karaiti, Christ is risen, ua toi tu kariso, in Psalm 1. These are the words that, that come from our mouths on this day, the day of the resurrection, and every day throughout Easter season, we say to one another, Ehoa, ko ara te karate. Ehoa, Christ is risen. Ehoa, ua toi tu kariso. And we speak of the power of God to raise Jesus from the dead. In 1993, with a number of other Christians from New Zealand. I was in a group that traveled to Taizé in the south of France. We arrived in Taizé on Palm Sunday. We stayed there right to, to Easter day. And on the morning of Easter, we were all encouraged to say in our own languages, Christ is risen. And so the person I was sitting with came from Portugal. And so I said to him, and he responded and said in Portuguese, Christ has risen. 
and I heard for the first time over 7,000 people I'm certain were there, uh, the voices in the different languages all affirming that Jesus had risen. It's a powerful uh, experience to be part of. I've been there several times since, and my wife Lenore and I were there in 2007 on sabbatical. Same experience. Everyone saying in their different languages, Christ has risen. And we say that again today in our karakia. We are right in the middle of our lockdown as a nation, as a people, in response to the COVID-19 crisis. We are held now in a life we have had to learn to adjust to with many restrictions that have been thrust upon us. That is not by any means a minor adjustment, which you all know. This is called for resilience. This has called for patience. This has called for confidence. We have come through the first response to the crisis, the global health and economic crisis. It's certainly a crisis, a real matter of life and death, and it impacts upon all of us. I believe we can look at this situation through our eyes of faith. What does the risen Christ say to us in times of adversity? in times of hardship, in times of tragedy, in times of disaster? What example can we follow to help us overcome hardship, to overcome loss, to overcome despair? Certainly we can look to scripture to help us gain strength and also inspiration. The first words of the angel and of the risen Jesus to the woman at the empty tomb is a good place to begin. Owa wehi, do not be afraid. Owa etefefe. Today, on the day of the resurrection, we find hope, we experience joy, and we live resurrection life. The crucifixion of Jesus, the horror and brutality of being put to death on the cross, the agony of his isolation on the cross, the lonely burial in the tomb, the fear, the silence, the grief, the anguish, and the waiting of his disciples, his friends, and his family does speak into our current situation. How are our hearts and our minds and our spirits fearing? How do we handle isolation from friends and family, physical isolation? And how are we to respond to fear? silence, sadness and prolonged waiting. While the gospel accounts of the resurrection of Jesus from the dead are about him overcoming death, conquering evil and defeating darkness. It is the truth about what happened three days after the crucifixion. It is true that Jesus defeated darkness. It is true that Jesus conquered evil. It is true that Jesus overcame death. It is also true about the disciples, the believers, his family, and how they responded to his death and to his resurrection. When you read the gospel, it is about as much as about them as it is about Jesus. It begins with Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, whom the angel speaks. Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. The message of the angel and the message of the risen Jesus to the woman is the same. Do not be afraid. Owa e wehi, owa e tefefe. The angel said to the woman, do not be afraid. And Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Further to that, the angel and the risen Jesus added, Then go quickly and tell his disciples. Go and tell my brothers. It's another way of saying, don't let fear rule your lives. You cannot go quickly and tell the disciples. You cannot go and tell the brothers if you have fear. So he is saying to them, don't let fear 
expel your faith. Don't let fear override your joy because fear has no place in proclaiming that Jesus is alive from the dead. Fear has no place in witnessing to the resurrection. And fear has no place in announcing to the disciples and to the world that the risen Christ will appear to them. When we have no fear, we can spread the good news of the resurrection of Jesus and speak of the empty tomb. When we have no fear, we can bring calm into the homes of the faithful believers gathered behind locked doors. And when we have no fear, we can confess Jesus as our Lord and Saviour openly, as our Lord and Saviour openly, with courage and utter confidence. To believe in the risen Christ is more than believing Jesus died and rose again. When I was in ministry at the Takiwa Manukau at the Karate Te Pauhedinga Waka, the kuia there was Mede Night. She had a favourite phrase when speaking about situations of adversity, of loss and of sadness. Koua e awanga wanga, e paiana, ka ara mai te rā a te ata pōpō. Don't worry, tomorrow morning the sun will rise again and the light will shine upon us. As a Christian in her expression of her faith, I was well aware what she meant. Life has its ups and downs. The older you, you are, the more you know about these matters. It's about light and darkness. It's about the sun and the shadow. It's about sweet and bitter. It's about good and evil. It is about sickness and health. It is about falling and rising. It's about life and death. It is really about Good Friday and Easter. That's what I believe many believed in her heart and also what I know she showed in her life. Just like the disciples, that is when they really started to believe at the empty tomb, when they ran home to tell everyone what they had witnessed. When the risen Christ appeared to them, did they believe that good will always overcome evil, that death will disappear, and that light will triumph over darkness? Just like them, we must not only be willing to believe, because we know in our hearts what it means to belong to Christ, that we are His, and we must choose to live that belief, and in doing so we share in resurrection joy. We share in resurrection hope and we share in resurrection life. This is what happened to those who arrived at the empty tomb, to those that the risen Jesus appears, disappears and reappears, to those at the lake who witnessed him walking toward them on the shore and to those he ate bread and fish with. They all experienced the joy of the risen Christ. In order to share fully in this resurrection joy, this resurrection hope and this resurrection life, we too are to go forth. We too are to go out. And we too are to go ahead with no fear at all whatsoever. And be prepared to tell our brothers and sisters everywhere that they too will see the risen Lord Jesus. Then they will believe in him and believe that they will find him only in places where there is life. Only then will they believe in him and believe that they will find him only in places where the living are, where the living gather. Only then will they believe in him and believe that they will not find him in the tomb, not in the cemetery and never in places of death. Only then will they believe in him when the risen Jesus appears to them to the faithful, to those who look to him, to those who seek him, to those who expect him to be with them, will they know he is not dead, but he is risen. Do not fear, owa e wehi, owa e te whewhe, and know, ko ara a te karaiti, ko ara a te karaiti, ua toitu ke wiso, ua toitu ke wiso, that he is risen, and he is indeed risen. Alleluia. Alleluia.
Tēnā koe e te pihopa, a mō tō kauhau i tēnei rā. Let's um, affirm our faith together in the words of the Nicene Creed in Te Reo Māori. E whakapono ana mātou ki te atua kotahi, ki te matua te mana tino nui, ki te kaihanga o te rangi me te whenua, o ngā mea katoa e kiti ana, o ngā mea hoki e kore e kitea. E whakapono ana mātou ki te ariki kotahi, ki a ihu karaiti, ki te tama kotahi a te atua, nō tua whakarere i puta mai ai i te matua, he atua nō te atua, he māramatanga nō te māramatanga, he tino atua nō te tino atua. I whakawhānau tia, kā hore i hangā, ko tahi anō ia me te matua. Nā nā nei, ngā mea katoa i hangā. Mō tātou mō te tangata, mō tō tātou oranga hoki, i heke iho ai ia i te rangi. Nā te mana o te wairua tapu, i whānau mai ai ia, i te puhi i Ameri, a i whakatangata tia. I rīpeka tia ia mō tātou i te wā i a pono tio pirato, i whakamamai tia, i mate, a i tanumia. I are akia anō hoki ia i te toro o ngā rā, ki te whakatutuku i tā ngā karaipitura. I kake atu ia ki te rangi, a e noho mai nei i te runga matau o te matua. Ka hoki mai anō ia i runga i te kororia, ki te whakawā i te hunga ora i te hunga mate. Ka hore hoki he mutunga o tōna rangatiratanga. E whakapono ana mātou ki te wairua tapu, ki te ariki, ki te kaiho mai i te ora. E ahu mai nei i te matua i te tama. E koropikoria nei, e whakakororia tahitia nei me te matua me te tama. Kua whakapuakina āna kōrero a ngā poropiti. E whakapono ana mātou, ko tahi anō hāhi tapu, ko tō ngā apotoro a putano i te ao. E whakaae ana mātou, ko tahi anō iriiri hei murunga hara. E tūmana ko atu ana mātou ki te aranga mai o te hunga mate, ki te oranga hoki, ki tērā ao atu. Āmine. In joy and hope, let us pray to the Father, that our risen Saviour may fill us with the joy of his glorious and life-giving resurrection. E te ato atawhai, whakarongo mai ki tā mātou ina. That the Church, gathered in new ways at this time, may find fresh strength in the good news of Easter. E te ato atawhai, whakarongo mai ki tā mātou ina. That in this time when the world needs God's light shining brightly, Father, bring the light and peace of your rongopai to the nations and grant us humility, grace, and love to be your light bearers. E te ato atawhai, whakarongo mai ki tā mātou inoi. That God may reveal the light of his presence to those in need, in distress, in sorrow, to the sick, the weak, and the dying, to comfort and strengthen them. E te atoa atawhai, whakarongo mai ki tā mātou inoi. That God may provide for those who lack kai, mahi, shelter, or who face social isolation at this time. E te atoa atawhai, whakarongo mai ki tā mātou inoi. That God's joy is brought into all whānau, strengthen and deliver those in childbirth. Watch over our tamariki, guide the rangatahi, grant wisdom to our mātua, and reassurance to our kaumātua. E te atua atawhai, whakarongo mai ki tā mātou inoi. That God may bless our essential workers, our government and world leaders, with clarity of thought and purpose. E te atua atawhai, whakarongo mai ki tā mātou inoi. That God calms our world from the trouble of this pandemic and other climate catastrophes. 
particularly for our Pacifica brothers and sisters. E te atoa atawhai, whakarongo mai ki tā mātou inoi. That with Jesus bringing us to glory through his death and resurrection, surround with your saints and angels those who have died trusting your promises. E te atoa atawhai, whakarongo mai ki tā mātou inoi. That God may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people, so that we may be a faithful witness to his resurrection. Heavenly Father, you have delivered us from power from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as his death has recalled us to life, so his continual presence in us may raise us to eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kia whakapai ngā tikaraiti, te ariki o te rongo mau, e tūraki nei i ngā tauarai o te wehe. Kia tau te ranga mārie, o te atua ki a koutou, Kia whakapaingia te karaiti e tuitui nei i a tātou i rotu i te rongo mau. Ka waiata tātou. Te karaiti, he pono tonu kua ara aia. Whakarea o koutou ngā kou ki te rangi, kei reira nei te karaiti, kei tōna ahurewa tapu. Kia whakapai ngia te atua, he mea tika ki a tāpai e te whakapai, te whakamoemeti. 
Ko te hari mō tō mātou whakaoranga, e te atua o tua whakarere, ki te tuku whakawhetai ki a koe, i roto ia i hukaraiti. Pāho ana tau kupu, ki a ti aho te mārama, nā kā mārama, e ti aho tonu nei tau mārama tanga i roto i tō mātou pauri, nau i pau te mauri ora mō ngā mea katoa, Nau hoki mātou i waihanga ki te whakarongo ki tau kupu, ki te mahi i tau i pai ai, ki a eki ai ki te taumata o tau aroha, hea mea tika ki a whakapaingi a koe. Nau i tono mai i tau tama, hei arawhai ngā mā mātou, hei pono e mana kohia ana e mātou, i toko a mai e koe tau tama ki a whakamatea hei toha i te ora, hei wewete i o mātou hara, ka unuhia o mātou hie e tō nā rīpeka. I tonoa mai i tō wairua tapu, hei whakakaha, hei arataki, hei whakatūpato, hei whakahau i tau hāhi, wai hoki i tēnei rōpū whakātū, e karapote nei a mātou, ko tō nā rite ki ngā whetū, te tai a te tatau, Ka whakamoimiti mātou i runga i te ngākau aroha, i te ngākau hari, mau i waihanga i karanga i a mātou, e te atua tapu rawa, mahi tohu, tino tapu, tino tika, nau te kororia, nau te pūrotu, kororia ki a koe, e te atua, te runga rawa, te atua mahaki. E te tino tapu, ka whakapaingi a koe, i roti i tau tama, i tōhu nei ki te horoi i ngā waio āna akonga, te tohu o te kaimahi tūturu. I te pō e mua i tōne matenga, ka tango e i te taro ka tuku whakawhetai ki a koe, ka whawhati, ka hoatu ki āna akonga, ā, ka mea, Tangohia, kainga, ko tōku tīnana tēnei, ka hoatū nei mō koutou, mei ngā tēnei, hei whakamahara ki a hau. Ka mūtu te hapa, ka mauia i te kapu, ka tuku whakawhetai ki a koe, ka hoatū ki a rātou, ā, ka mea inumia tēnei, ko ōku tōtō o te kawanata hau, i whakahekia mō u, mō te katoa, Hei muro ngā hara, mei ngā tēnei hei whakamahara ki a hau. Nō reira mā tēnei taro me tēnei waina, ka maumahara mātou, ki au painga ki a mātou. Te atua o ngā wā katoa, e maumahara ana mātou ki tau tama, ka whakawhetai mātou, mō tōna ripekatanga, Me tōna aranga mai, ka whakamana mana mātou mō tōna whakareanga, ka tū mana ko ki tōna hairenga mai i runga i te kororia, i rotu i a ia, ka mau tonu mātou ki a koe. Whakahangia iho tō wairua tapu, mea tea tēnei taro, ko te tīnana tonu, Tēnei waina ko ngā toto tono o te karaiti, ki a tūhono ki tōna tīnana, ki a uai mātou ki roto i te akapono. Ka aru mātou i a te karaiti, tui, 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 tui a mātou, tui a ki te mamai, tui a ki te tūmanako, tui, tui, tui a ki te ora. Kei a koe te tapu o te rangi, te oro kohanga rā anō te ao, te tīmatanga, te otenga, te arapame te ōmeka. Kei a koe te whakapai, te kororia, te aroha, i tēnei rā, i tēnā rā, mai a mātou, mai te katoa, i konei, i ngā wahi katoa. Āmine. Ko ako na nei tātou i tō tātou ariki, ka waia tata. Oh
I'm just going to say a couple of words here um, to explain what we're doing because a couple of people have asked questions during the week. Since the Reformation, um, it's never been um, part of the, the Reformation churches, of which the Anglican church is one, to have um, for the priest to have communion by themselves. So you can see that my whānau have come in. They were watching the service in the next room. They've come in so that you can see that we are together at this moment. But also the church has always recognised that there might be occasions when it's impossible to receive communion materially. And so I want to encourage you that even though you can't be here and receive communion materially, God in his grace, um, we are confident, um, shows the grace that we receive in communion to you in your homes um, as you are able to see and participate um, spiritually in what we're doing. Te tina na o te kraiti i whatia mō tātou, ko ia te taro o te ora. I maringi o nga toto hei muranga hara, ko a ara mai te kraiti i te mate. Haere mai i te kahui ati atua, tangohia i nei kairanga tere a te kraiti. Whakapaingia te atu e whakamina nei a tātou, whakamoimiti te ati atua ko a kotahi nei tātou. Whakapaingia te atua e hohau nei i te rongo, whakamoimiti te ati atua ko ia te tūmana ko te herakore. Whakapaingia ia ko a hora nei tāna kupu, whakamoimiti te a ia ko ia nei te aroha. Whakapaingia ia nāna nei tātou i karanga, waihanga te a mātou. Ki a riti ki tō aki te ahua. Mana kohia e te atua a mātou whakahere, whakamoimiti, ko tāu rau-rau, ko tāku rau-rau, ka mākou na mātou. A final waiata um, to, to send us out into the world. And it's a prayer really um, that God would act through us as he's prepared us and as Bishop has encouraged us to share the good news um, the good news of the resurrection hope that we have found in the Lord. Um, I wonder if you can make these words your prayer today so that as they are sung um, in your various homes, you are able to go out into the week in the confidence, in the hope, um, and in the power of the resurrection to do God's work as you are able to.
In closing, um, I want to express my thanks um, to Bishop for his koho this morning um, and to all those others who have brought this karakia together, um, to Scott Parakofai um, who led our intercessions um, from St John's College um, and if I've got the readers right, I think it was Naftali on the lesson and Shifra on our epistle and to Waimarama uh, read our gospel for us. I want to say thank you as well to David Tapene and Hatia who provided some of our waiata and to Kerri Ann Hokianga and her whanau. I think there, there must be about eight of them in their bubble I reckon or something like that um, and they've been um, bringing many of these beautiful waiata to us um, and to all of you who have been sharing in worship this morning scattered as we are today is a day when we look forward to hope not just to when we can gather together uh, here in this land again but we do look forward to that day when the Lord Jesus will return in power and glory and bring us together for all eternity to worship him. So let's close in a prayer. I'll give a blessing um, and then we'll have the dismissal. Ke inoi tato. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin, and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and all you love, now and forevermore. Amen. Haere e runga i te aroha, Haere e runga i te ronge mārie. Āmene, ka haere mātou i runga i te ingoa te karaiti. Karoria, ki te atua. Kia ora tātou.